two, one, and lift off. My take on the ALDS was so wrong, it's possible that I should be banned from having any opinion on the ALCS. I'll vote for that. Stop me. Uh, deciding the series number three for me, Robert Osuna, the Jays' closer. I think he might be the only guy in the Toronto bullpen that they trust. Terry Francona trusts multiple guys. So if Robert Osuna's not good, I think Toronto's in big trouble. Number two for me, and maybe this should be number one, is the first two games. The Indians having home field advantage. We saw how huge that was against Boston. Mm -hmm. Toronto, meanwhile, won the first two games on the road against Texas. I think if the Indians can win the first two at home, it's their series. If they split and Toronto goes back to Toronto, having sort of taken that home field advantage back, I think it's a completely different series. Those first two are really huge. Number one, Josh Donaldson from Toronto. He's the David Ortiz of this series. The Indians handle Ortiz. He didn't kill him last series. They can't let Donaldson kill him this series. All right, number three for me is it doesn't matter how you spell defense with an S or a C. It's a Canadian thing. Uh, Indians are a better defensive team than these guys. That's one of their clear advantages. Number two, there's an old adage about good pitching beating good hitting. If you get really great pitching, you're going to beat even better hitting. The Indians have that advantage. And their bullpen is the biggest advantage of all. That is why, can we have a drum roll? No? Okay. That is why I'm picking the Indians in six games. I'm sure people will be thrilled to hear this because I'm so wrong about everything. Um, I'm going to take the Jays in six on the idea that the Indians don't win both of the first two games. They go back to Toronto 1-1. One, one. Toronto wins two of three there. And now the Indians are coming home down 3-2. Yes, they have, you know, they have that shot. They have home field back. But that is a tough thing to do. Your backs are against the wall. That makes game six that much harder. Are you sure of it? I'm pretty sure of my pick, for one reason, too. People will say, well, Boston had a, a, a left-handed hitting lineup in, in key places, and Andrew Miller was the antidote to that, right? Let me tell you something. He's even better against right-handed hitters. So the fact that these guys are, you know, maulers from the right side shouldn't scare anybody. 